Okay, so this is the second question. Resolve x squared minus 3x plus 6 divided by x into bracket x minus 2 bracket open and then x minus 1. So basically, we are resolving this into partial fraction and we can easily solve this using the calculator. So the first thing is to resolve the expression into it partial fraction. So let's quickly do that before we come to the use of the calculator. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to resolve it into partial fraction before the calculator actually comes in. So what do we do? Look at the denominator. We have x, parenthesis, x minus 2, other brackets, x minus 1. So definitely this is going to be a linear factor. And so the first x will be given a numerator of a. So when you come to the right hand side, we have a over x. Then the second x minus 2 will also be given a numerator of b. So we have plus b over x minus 2. And then the third one, x minus 1, will also have a numerator of c. So we have plus c over x minus 2. So this is the partial fraction that you need to do. This one, you do this manually. It is after you have done this, then the subsequent ones, the calculator will make it easier for you. So how do we use the calculator? Now we do it by using the cover-up method. If you are going to look for the value of A, you will now have to cover the denominator of A on the left-hand side. So you cover the X and then you enter this expression on the calculator. When you are done, to determine the B, you cover the denominator for the B on the left-hand side and then we go in that order. So let's now bring the calculator. So I have my calculator here. Let me first clear what I have on it. Now, if you look at the third step, the one down here, I have covered the X, this X. Why has the X been covered? Simply put, I am going to look for the value of this A. That is why the X is covered. And so when I cover the X, I am now going to enter the remaining expression on the calculator. And so this is a fraction. So I pull my calculator. You first click on the fraction button and then you enter. So x squared. So alpha x and then I square it. Then minus 3x. So 3 alpha x and then plus 6. So plus 6. Then I am done with the top one. Remember all that I am entering is the one on the left hand side of the identity sign. So let me now move the cursor down. Obviously this is covered. So I am going to enter what you see. So I have brackets. So parenthesis. I have x minus 2. So alpha x minus 2. Then I close the brackets. Another bracket opens here. So I open another bracket. Then I have x minus 1. So alpha x minus 1. Then remember to close the bracket. So I close it up. Then the next thing to do is ask yourself what value of this x will make this particular one undefined. So simply put, if I put 0 here, meaning a over 0 is going to be undefined. So you now press the calc button and it is asking you what value of x will make the a undefined. And that is 0. So you place 0 here, then you hit the equal sign button. That means when you solve, you are going to get um, a is equal to 3. Now I want to save this on the calculator. So you press to save, press shift, you press recall, and then you assign it to a. So I have saved that one to b. Now we want to move on to solve for the b and then the c. So now that we are done looking um, for the a, it is now time for us to look for the value of b. And to do that, you cover the denominator of b on the left hand side. So that is how come this is covered. And so after we have covered that one, let's now enter the remaining expression on the calculator. So thankfully, you can always edit for examination. So I have it there. So if you look at the top one, 
x squared minus 3x plus 6 is already there at the top I only have to edit the down one so for x minus 1 I have it here already and so what I need is this x so let me now move down the cursor down and then do the editing so I go downwards and then I edit my figures so I place x outside so you can see clearly now let me move the cursor up so you can see okay so basically what you see is that I now have the uncovered one on the calculator then remember we have covered the, the B denominator meaning we are going to look for B so you press on the calc button then it will ask you what value of X will make the B undefined to get that one move on to the right hand side and so what value of X can make this one undefined definitely if I put 2 here 2 minus 2 I will get 0 so this part will be undefined so the value of X required is going to be positive 2 and so you simply enter 2 and then you hit the equal sign button that means the B value is going to be 2 so I want to save that one to, to B and so to save you press shift you press the store and then you assign that one to B and so I have my E and then the B so the last part that I need to find is the C and to do that meaning you have to remove the cover from B and then you cover it on C so when you move down you can see that the C part has been covered so this is it and so now either E denominator is open the B is also open but the C part is covered so I have to enter this on the calculator once again it is already there so just move the cursor up to go and edit it so it is there the top one x squared minus 3x plus 6 is there so all I need to have is the down one here so let me now move down to edit it so I move the cursor down let me go down and then do the editing so I need the x so x is there but I need x minus 2 so in place of the one I delete the one and then I put two there then when I move up you see that everything that you see everything that you see at the left hand side I have the same thing here then you press on the calc button it will ask you what value of X will make the C column undefined so you now move on to the right so the C column is here what value of X will make this undefined definitely if I put one here so one minus one will be zero and that will be undefined meaning the value that we need to put in the calculator is going to be the positive one and so I place in positive one then you hit the equal sign button then it is telling you that the C value is going to be four so I will save this to C you press shift you press the store and then you assign it to C and once you are done you are good to go so now let's go back to the possible answers and see which of them fit into what we have done so far so which of these actually represent the correct answer for what we have done so far now remember that we saved the A B and C so let's recall so to do that to do that you simply press recall A so under A we had three and then recall B under B we had two and then recall C under C we had four so you can see that this is what we are actually getting that using the calculator the A is equal to 3 the B is 2 and then the C is minus 4 and so you go back to the uh, decomposition in place of A you put 3 in place of B you put 2 and then in place of C you put 4 so for the possible answers given in the question you can see clearly that the right option for the question is actually going to give us the option C where we have 3 over X plus 2 over X minus 2 minus 4 over X minus 1 which is equal to what we have gotten so it is very easy to use calculator to solve partial fraction 
and this is the first part stay tuned for the second part that is the repeated factor and you will know that mathematics is easy make sure you subscribe and thanks for your time